Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at rotations, which is where we take a shape on a grid and we rotate it by 180 degrees or 90 degrees. You will need some tracing paper for this particular worksheet, but if you follow the link just below in the description, you'll be able to download the worksheet, have a go at each of the questions, or stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. If you're not sure about anything, always leave a comment, always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, this is the final video in the playlist where we're looking at, uh, in this particular case, rotations, and the whole playlist looks at transformations on XY graphs. Okay, so um, this one here is rotate shape A 180 degrees around the point two zero. So the point two zero is going to be here. Now we're just gonna be very careful because each of these units is actually two jumps. Okay, so just be very careful sometimes they will try to do that. Okay, now there's a couple of ways we can do this. You could, if you wanted to, use a bit of tracing paper and what we do is we take a, a trace of this particular shape and then we rotate it 180 degrees. Now that would be a, a good way of doing that and I'm going to show you that in a minute or two. So the first thing I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to put in the um, lines themselves at 100 180 degrees because what we're saying is that this corner here is going to rotate 180 degrees in other words a straight line to come to somewhere over here okay so it's the same with this one here now they're all going to go through this same point of two zero okay but having these little guidelines is just really really helpful for when you're actually rotating shapes around okay and now unfortunately because it's a triangle it's a little bit trickier to see and i'm going to show you how to do it with a piece of tracing paper but before i do that i just want to talk a little bit also about rotating by vectors because there will be some students who do it this way but they say that actually this point to go from um, here to A is the um, it's a vector of one in the x direction. No, it's not. It's a vector of <laughs> my. <laughs> minus six in the x direction. I wish I'd not started this now. Okay, <laughs> so it's a vector of minus six in the x direction and plus 10 in the y direction. So we've got minus six and 10. Okay, well, if we're going to rotate it 180 degrees, then what we're actually going to do is the opposite. We're going to have a vector now of six and minus 10. So in other words, if we go along six, so two, Two, four, six, and then down to minus 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. The new point becomes this one here, which is going to be A. Okay, so um, that might be a way of doing it for you. Do it for all of the other points if you want to, but this is a grade three. So what I'm gonna do is just try to make it a little bit, a um, little bit more straightforward by what we do is we use a bit of tracing paper. If you're in an exam and you don't have any tracing paper, please do ask the invigilator, okay? You'll be able to get a piece of tracing paper okay put a pen or some other sort of object over the top of the kind of uh, mark here and then just basically rotate it around and what you'll see is actually the way I drew this this little point of a has actually matched up there with the point that I drew uh, using the vector okay so I can use this then if I just pick this up OK, it's a little bit difficult on the screen, but pick this up. It allows me then to draw in the particular new triangle. OK, and there it is. All right. So 
Hopefully you can see that, that what I've done is use that bit of tracing paper to be able to rotate the shape around. Okay, let's have a go then with the next one. Um, but the, actually in the next one, we're being asked to just describe fully the transformation. So we do use a bit of tracing papers in order to work that out because we need to know how far round it's rotated. Now, hopefully you can see it's a rotation, what we need to figure out really is how it how many degrees it's gone around and at what point it's rotated from. So if I look at this point here, which is A, I'm going to go to this point here, which is A prime. So what I'm going to do is, again, use my tracing paper and draw my triangle like that. And then really, it's just a bit of trial and error. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see if I put uh, my pen here and then rotate it around around that pen actually when I've rotated 90 degrees it's not sitting on the new shape so let's now change it and we'll try something else so if I move to here and then move around hopefully you can see now it is sitting on the new shape. So what I do know is that it's a 90 degree rotation. The reason I know it's 90 degrees because I'm going from, um, if you like, the square at the top of the paper or the line at the top of the paper, and I'm moving it now to its perpendicular point. So I'm moving to this point here. Okay, so it's 90 degrees and it's around this point. So if I just mark that, actually on the grid, that would be a 90 degree rotation. Okay, so what can I say about this? Well, it's rotated 90 degrees around point zero four, and that would give you full marks for this particular question. Okay, hope that's been useful for you. If you do do it by translation of vectors, then you will see actually that we've got a 90 degree angle at this particular point. Okay, so hopefully you can see there that it works both ways. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next point, this is, uh, the next question is going to be question number three. And this is rotate show 90 degrees clockwise around the center zero. Well, the center zero is fairly okay for us. But again, I'm just going to use a little bit of tracing paper in order to be able to figure this one out. Okay, so um, what I'll do is just prepare myself some. Okay, right, so rotate shape 90 degrees clockwise around shape zero. So I'm going to use again this point here. And if I want it 90 degrees, what I'm going to say is if I draw a sort of a guideline along here, hopefully you can see it's going through the diagonals of these four squares. So I'm expecting this point to be at 90 degrees and go through the diagonal of those four squares. So this point will end up going from A to A prime. OK, and again, use a little bit of tracing paper. OK, and I'm just going to draw my shape just like that. OK, put my pen in and then if I go around 90 degrees, there it is. It's actually ended up on this point here. And then really it's just a case of just very carefully kind of lifting the tracing paper and figuring out where each of the points is. OK, so if I just lift that up, I'm going to have this point here. Um, I think it's going to be this point here and this point here. And then if I join those up, OK, obviously it makes it much neater if you use a ruler. OK, but you're going a 90 degree rotation from A to B. OK, hopefully that's all right for you. Let's move on then to the final question. Describe the single transformation. Well, hopefully you can see that it is a rotation. OK, it's gone. It's a rotation around a particular point. So again, if I use my tracing paper, I'm going to go from A 
to be. Now, again, I could use lines if I wanted to, but I'm just going to sort of take a guess. Um, if I take a guess that it's going to be... Um, I think I know it's going to be there. So if I go there, you can see if I go around, it's not quite right. OK, so let's go to the next one along. OK, and when I go around, there it is. It's sitting on top. So it actually is a rotation of 180 degrees around this particular point, which on the grid is there. So it's a rotation. OK, 180 degrees around point zero one. And that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, so a little bit trickier, particularly when it's on a video, um, but I hope you've been able to follow it. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I will look forward to seeing you inside the next video.